This YC Weekly is going to be about tattoos, their history, and why some of us may or may not want them. Last August, my friends and I went on a trip to California, and while we were there, we wanted to get tattoos. It was spontaneous and thrilling, and I had already been wanting to get one for months. So I ended up getting the Jedi Order symbol, because when I was younger, I always wanted to be a Jedi, and I thought they were cool. However, I have to hide it from my parents because they can't stand tattoos. My mother is super religious and she even associates them with like criminals and something that's unholy. But where does this stigma come from? Let's take a look. The true origins of tattoos aren't certain, but there is definitely evidence that tattoos existed all over the world in different ancient civilizations. Throughout time, people have discovered mummified bodies with tattoos on them from places like ancient Egypt, China, and Russia. Despite the longevity of tattooing practices, these markings were looked down upon by many societies. In ancient Chinese literature, bandits were almost always described as having tattoos. And when European missionaries met native Polynesians, they heavily condemned their ritualistic tattoos. Meanwhile, in America, it wasn't until the late 1800s that tattoos began to be found on circus entertainers. A man called John O'Reilly had intricate tattoos all over his body and was labeled the Tattooed Irishman. Despite the intrigue around his tattoos, people would still describe them as being hideous or barbaric. Later on, throughout the 1920s and 1930s, tattoos would be found commonly among sailors. They used tattoos to symbolize their adventurous voyages. However, since most people with tattoos were still sailors, circus entertainers, or criminals, people still associated tattoos with negative connotations. In the 1930s, these negative thoughts only worsened when popular theories emerged that said that these tattoos were being done because of people's repressed sexual desires. Yeah. Moving on. When America entered World War II, the country experienced an intense patriotic wave. Men got military-inspired tattoos and other patriotic themes. And the new workforce of women also began to get tattoos. However, just like how one war brought forth an increase in patriotic tattoos, another one brought the downfall of them. The Vietnam War was criticized heavily by many Americans, and so nobody was really seeking to get any patriotic tattoos. And also, there was a lot of uncertainty about the safety of tattoos because people were connecting the spread of hepatitis with unclean needles. Later on in the 1980s and 1990s, as more musicians and celebrities were showing off their tattoos, more people began to desire tattoos and they became more socially acceptable. But around the 1990s, with the rise of digital communication, debates ensued over the ethics and cultural appropriation of certain tattoos, like the African and Polynesian tribal tattoos that were popular in the West. This debate continues to happen today. Some people think that tattoos have to have a significant meaning to them, while others think that you shouldn't be judged for what tattoo you get and you shouldn't be ridiculed or criticized. What do you guys think? So I got my tattoo just to get it over with pretty much. I had always been scared about inking up my skin out of fear of judgment from like my parents or my peers or whatever. But one day I just made the decision to go ahead and get it regardless of the repercussions. And yeah, it's been a year and I'm still happy with it. What about you, Jonah? Oh, um, I got my tattoo because I felt like um, I have a big purpose and I feel like everyone is, has a bigger purpose. So it's like mine represents that I have the universe in me and we all do. And maybe we should all think like that. Um, Deja, don't you have something? I don't have any tattoos, plus I don't really care for them much. Moving on, I think that ultimately, if you get a tattoo and you're sure that it doesn't infringe on somebody else's culture, then it doesn't matter what tattoo you get, whether it's significant to you or not. I mean, who are we to judge, right? This has been your YC Weekly. I'm your host, Claudia Paguay. See you next time.